Is it day 10? It can't be day 10. I think it's day 10. <laughs> So today it is day 10 of 15 days of foundation. This is where I test out a new foundation every single day for 15 days. I feel like I look a little bit bald right now, but it's day 10, it's Saturday. I really don't care. I wanted to make a couple quick 15 days of foundation announcements. I know you guys have seen 10 days of this series already, but when I'm filming this right now, it's actually only day three. And I've just been overwhelmed by your guys' support for Project B to Share and the eBay sale and the t-shirts. So thank you to all of you who have gotten those. When I'm filming this today, between the eBay sale and the t-shirts, you guys have raised over $8,000 for Project B to Share. So that's just amazing. Let's keep it going. I think we can shoot for $10,000. So if you haven't purchased a t-shirt yet, 100% of the proceeds go to Project B to share. So the link for it will be down below. Baby Rito fam, we got this. So the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation has been another one of those that you guys have been asking about for years literally, and I've just never gotten around to making a video on it. I have a few old videos talking about it and using it. And basically my thoughts on it in the past have been that I don't like using it alone, but I do like mix it in with products. And I said that it did control my oil really well and I didn't have to powder my face with it. I have combination skin. I do get oily by the end of the night. So anything that's oil controlling, I typically like mixing in with other products. I have reviews on both of the other two popular L'Oreal foundations, the Pro Glow and the Total Cover Foundation. Long story short, I'm not a fan of either of those. At all. So let's go online and read some of the claims about this thing. This product retails for $12.99 and you get one fluid ounce of product. It comes in 12 shades. I have both of the shades 101 Classic Ivory, which is the lightest shade, and also 102 Shell Beige. You guys will see which shade I go with and how I apply them in the demo, but I'm gonna start swatches right here so you can see how both of these shades compare to some of the other lightest foundation shades that I own. All right, so swatch time right here is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation in the shade 101. Next over is the same foundation in the shade 102. As you can see, this is about five shades darker. I do not know how this is the second lightest shade. This is the Lancome Custom Foundation, which I did a review on yesterday. Dermacol 208 Pure Cosmetics Bare It All Foundation in Porcelain. Tarte Rainforest of the Sea in Porcelain. Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation in 0.5. Anulta says it's a 24 hour foundation that has air light texture with a demi matte finish. The super gliding mattifying formula has high water content for maximum comfort that lasts, contains shine defy blotting spheres that act like blotting paper, instantly absorbing sweat and oil without deserving color pigments, medium coverage. So I've actually gone through an entire bottle of this foundation, the shade 101, which is an accomplishment for me because I never finish up entire foundations just because I test out so many different products all the time. So mixing this with the e.l.f. acne fighting foundation is what I used to do, but that's everything that it says. Let's just go put on makeup. If you're enjoying 15 days of foundation, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you wanna see my thoughts on the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation and how it applies and wears throughout the day, you're in the right place, just keep watching. All right, so it is 8, whoops, 8.49 in the morning. Changing my background for all of those who thought my screen was cracked. It was just black marble. So I've already washed, moisturized, and primed my face using the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer that I'm using every day in this series. So I have the shades 101 and 102 here. You guys will have already seen swatches, but I actually haven't swatched 102 Shell Beige before or used it, obviously. So I'm just gonna put a tiny bit out of each and see which one matches better. I might even mix the two together if I need to. Okay, 102 definitely looks too dark. 101 looks too light. Yeah, so I'm gonna mix the two shades. Okay, so that's looking like a good shade. So on this side of my face, I'm gonna start out with my e.l.f. brush, and on the other side, we'll use a sponge. Feels very smooth blending out. I don't think I've worn this product alone in years. I think I could have gone a little bit lighter on the mixing, so I'm just gonna add in a tiny bit more 101 because you can't see a line right there. With the brush, I got about medium coverage. I don't love how it's sitting on my forehead. It's kind of emphasizing some of my texture up here and also a little bit around this area, but I'm gonna use a sponge on the other side and see how it goes. Looks like about the same kind of coverage to me on both sides. Maybe a tiny bit lighter coverage with the sponge. There's still acne and freckles and everything coming through. I'm not gonna do a full second layer, but mainly just on this area so I can see if it builds and covers up some acne. I am way closer to the 101 shade, so I'm just mixing in like a dab of the 102 shade. 
I don't feel like it's building a whole lot. As far as the texture, it doesn't look bad building it up, but I like it better on just one layer. So I'm actually gonna skip out on this side, I think, because it just didn't add any coverage, so there's not really a point. So I would say solid medium coverage. If you have acne, you'll probably wanna go in and spot conceal, which I think I am gonna do because I'm going places today. Actually, let's just do that now. One of my favorite concealers to spot conceal with is the Wet n Wild Celebrity Cum Correct. You need the tiniest bit of this and it is like full coverage, man. So I'm just putting this on any of the spots. Okay, it's drying down really quick on top of this foundation. So here's what it looks like with pretty much one layer of the foundation. As you can see, spots are still coming through. I would say it's kind of natural medium coverage. I'm not loving the way that it's sitting on my forehead. I have some dry patches up here, but it doesn't look bad on my forehead. I just feel like I have other foundations that sit a little bit better up there. Everywhere else it's looking good. Typically I like a little bit more coverage than this. So I'm not gonna powder my face today because I've never had to in the past, even when I mix this in with other products. So right now it's 9.04, let's just call the check-in time, nine o'clock. I'm gonna apply the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. Okay, so it's now 9.25 and I kind of have the same feelings as when I used to wear this alone. It's just not my cup of tea alone. On my forehead, it's just not quite as smooth as I like and I definitely have much more acne and stuff coming through than I typically do. But I am really curious to see how this wears throughout the day and if I get oily or not. I almost think I might try mixing the 101 shade with the Derma Blend Smooth Liquid Camo Foundation because that one has a super pretty dewy skin-like finish and it is dark and this one is light and has a matte finish so that might be a good combo. My only critique with the actual foundation right now is that my concealer went on weird on top of this. It just looks a bit dry and I actually had to majorly blend where my concealer met the foundation with the sponge. It almost Almost just stuck there and it didn't want to blend out but just an application the way this goes on and how it looks I definitely prefer the pro matte over the pro glow and the total cover foundation so on the rest of my face I use Mac baby don't glow as a bronzer for blush I use wet n wild in a purple haze I don't even know if they still make this I think they do physicians formula shimmer brick and natural nude one of my favorite highlights I just went super basic on the makeup today nothing exciting at all because it's Saturday I'm just going thrifting with rage and then gonna be editing videos I use the BA Cosmetics liquid lipstick in Sandy and then on top of that I put wet and wild nudie patootie I love using this lipstick to kind of lighten other nudes. So I think that's it The next check I do will be a natural lighting and I'll see you guys in a few hours All right, so it's now 2 p.m. So the foundation's been on for five hours and This is kind of crap lighting because there's a building right in front of us, but we just went thrifting very successful be successful. <laughs> Get it together <laughs> So looking at the foundation, I just feel like it looks really dry. Um, definitely not loving it by itself. What do you think of it, Rach? On the side where your chin is, it like doesn't really cover anything. Yeah, it's not covering anything, like especially on this side. Yeah. And I just feel like it looks kind of textured on my forehead. So I'll check back in with you guys at the end of the night. <laughs> okay, so it's now 7.40. So the foundation's been on for almost 11 hours. I'm wearing my Hell Yeah t-shirt because it just came in the mail. Let's take a look at the foundation. I feel like the best word I have to describe this on my skin alone is kind of chalky. It does feel really good, like it feels very lightweight. It doesn't feel like I have anything on, but the texture of it and just like the coverage and everything, I don't know, it just looks kind of chalky on my skin. But for almost 11 hours, my oil has held up really well. I mean, I pretty much have no oil on my forehead right now. Zoom you guys in, yeah. Like this is very, very, very minimal for me. That was a lot of berries. And around my nose area, it does look really good. I love the lasting power on this thing. I just think it's not quite there yet for me for what I personally like. I'm definitely gonna mix this in with other foundations just so I can get the other kind of factors that I look for. And I'll update you in the wrap-up video what I think of it mixing it. If you're oily and you like more light to medium coverage, I almost think this is honestly more on the light side. If you have issues with your foundation staying on, you might like this one. If you have dry skin, I would say this one is a no-go. If you have more mature skin, but you do get a little bit oily, you might like this because it didn't really settle in to any of my lines up here or on my upper lip or anywhere where I usually crease. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up so I know I'm actually going out tonight and not being a grandma for once. So here we go. So I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Bye.